because uh, we know that uh, one of the local threats to uh, security is uh, early and teenage pregnancies. We have assessed for one and a half years and we are having 164 girls having fallen pregnant at various levels of, the, of their education. We have those who got pregnant in Form 1. The Form 1 rate is not as high as it is with the uh, Form 4. Form 4, most of the teenage pregnancies in our schools we have found in Rangon constituencies out of those who are in Form 3 and Form 4. We have a total of 164 girls who got pregnant in one and a half years. But what is shocking me is that for 2022, there were 94 in the whole year. But now for 2023, half year, we have 76. 76 meaning, if you were to project probably by doubling it, that would be about 140 something. That is going to put it to uh, an increment in, in, instead of uh, these numbers going down. And that is why we are having this uh, particular forum to address these issues, to mitigate all girl pregnancies. We also have an issue with the boy child, and we are finding, I was recently in one of our schools in the uh, sub-county, and literally a boy kept on sleeping, sleeping as long as I was in that school. And when we further prodded, it was found that this boy had taken bang and he confessed to having taken bang in one of our secondary schools. So we have issues with alcohol and drug abuse. We have early uh, pregnancies in our schools. And another thing, uh, we have been working on girls who have gotten pregnant to go back to, for them to go back to, to school. But now we are also having a case of very, very many. One of our schools is having literally three quarters of the girls who are in that school are, child, are learning mothers child mothers, and uh, uh, of course as is with any other uh, community that is uh, having children, we are also having these learners having children who are uh, having special needs. And where the girls are having children that have special needs, they are completely not able to go back to school. So these are a raft of things that we are coming up with. Of course, uh, I will give my um, uh, and some of the other attendees, uh, like the county director of education, to uh, take mention of one or two things. But we are on it here to look at mitigation measures. The meeting is continuing, but I think that we will go school, one school at a time, to make sure that we talk to these girls. Rangwe Sub County requires a caregiving centre, where at its worst, if we have uh, girls with very, very special needs, then we can have them taken to the caregiving center so that these girls can go to learn. At the National Assembly, I sit in the Committee of uh, Social Protection as a member, and I think this is one of the substantive issues that is coming out of this meeting that I'm going to raise on the floor of the House as part of the plenary, but we are also going to address it uh, with the social protection uh, uh, systems uh, of the national government. Uh, you realize that uh, as a member of parliament, I'm supposed to represent the voice of the people. I'm also supposed to oversight what is happening here and come up with legislation. Uh, we have had legislation come up that addresses uh, girls going back to school. But we have not uh, had legislation addressing uh, the issue of learning mothers who have even special needs. Uh, with, the learner, uh, with the children who are special needs. These are the points where we get law. So as it is right now, I think Rangwe Sub County or Rangwe constituency is going to come up with the law proposals that should mitigate on this because anything that is not uh, anchored in law is never addressed. I want to specifically address the issue of high turnover of uh, school principals in Rangwe Sub County. And I want to address uh, our TAC, either at the South yes. County and at national level. Yes. Allow principals who come to Rangwe to stay, because we cannot track a record of a teacher who is not there. They need to stay there, hang on there for a given time, so that we are able to track their performance. But if they come and keep going, then uh, tracking performance of uh, specific uh, teachers becomes a problem. We are also in this meeting to set new standards. 
generally, averagely, we are having a performance of 4.4. 4.4 is generally, is it a C? Is a, is a D? There is no way under my leadership we are going to have a mean performance of a D, whichever D, honestly. We want to work and see that at its worst, we have a better B or a better C or a, a, at its best a B. But as soon be and Orero are doing as good. I also love the performance of uh, St. Joseph's Bakita and any other school that is doing well. But uh, we have our schools who are having a mean grade of two. I think two is too much, honestly. We cannot have a whole school failing. It's 2.0, 2.9, 2.4. This is the reason.